Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the King of Kings. Amen. He is the Lord of Lords. Amen. He is the Master. Amen. He is the Maker of heaven and earth. Amen. We rejoice because He is alive. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for the Word of God? Amen. Want to bring greetings to you from the presence of the Living God. And as you tune tune into this channel, we pray that God will minister to you through His Word with His power. And we pray that as you watch till the end, there will be a lot of transformation in your body, soul and spirit. So I encourage you to watch continuously the full message and you will be, may God be glorified through His Word. Amen. Amen. Today, I want to share with you continuously, I've been continuing the same subject on divine healing and uh, today I want to almost to conclude on divine healing and this is I have titled the message something slightly different the missing link between healing and wholeness the missing link between healing and wholeness amen, amen. amen. this is very very important because most of us look for healing most of us look for deliverance most of us want to be out of the sickness but let me tell you one thing God does not want you to heal alone he wants you to go further amen, amen. he wants to give you wholeness amen. the completeness Amen. Amen. This is very, very important for your life. So today, in connection with divine healing, what I understood is God's power heals today also. Amen. Jesus heals today also. Amen. He is still working and he is still healing as he was doing 2000 years back. Amen. So as you go for healing, don't stop there. Many, many Christians, do you know what they do? They stop. Once they get healing for, from their sickness, do you know what happens? They stop it there. Amen. But I want to tell you one thing. Don't stop there. Amen. You have to go further. Something greater is waiting for you. A greater than the healing God wants to give to us. Amen. So what I have done is I've chosen a passage from the Bible, which is found in Luke's gospel, chapter 17, from verse 11 to verse 19. This is a story that happened 2000 years back when Jesus was on this earth. Here the Bible says in Luke's gospel, chapter 17, verse 11 onwards, and it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers which stood afar off. Now, want you to understand, Jesus is traveling to Jerusalem and is passing through Samaria and Galilee. As he was going, the Bible says there were 10 lepers who came to meet Jesus. They encountered Jesus. And these 10 men were lepers and they stood far off and they said in verse 13, they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Now, see the beauty of this. They cried standing a far distance because a, lep a leper is not allowed to come close according to the Jewish law. So they were standing far off and they were telling, they were crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. Amen. There are two words there, Jesus and Master. They considered Jesus not only a name, but he also, they also understood that he is master. master. And they said, 
to Jesus, have mercy upon us. Amen. I like this one. When these lepers shouted, have mercy upon us, Jesus responded. Our God is a God who responds to our call. Amen. Can you shout amen? amen? He responds to our call. He never said, hey, I'm on the way to Jerusalem. I'm a bit busy. I have a meeting in Jerusalem. But do you know what he did? He responded. How he responds? And when he saw them, and he said unto them, go, show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Amen. 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 Yeah, the beauty is, Jesus said few words to them. He said, go, show yourself unto the priest. Amen. Amen. Now, these guys, the ten lepers, do you know what they have to do? They took hold of Jesus' word and immediately obeyed God's word. Amen. I want to tell you one thing, people who are expecting healing in your body. Let me tell you one thing. If you are looking for a deliverance or something from Jesus Christ, all you need to do is you need to cry out to Jesus. Not call a pastor or anything, but cry unto Jesus. These guys, the lepers, cried unto Jesus and they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy. And this God is a merciful God Amen. who shows mercy to thousand generations. And I want you to realize the God, this is not a judgmental God. In his mercy, he forgives all our iniquity, all our sin, all our transgression. And he called, and these people called on Jesus. Amen. And Jesus responded to them and he said, go show yourself unto the priest. Amen. 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 Do you know what happens? Here, you need to understand one thing. Merciful God tells the lepers, go show yourself to the priest. Amen. If you read a couple of chapters before Luke 17, that is Luke chapter 5. When a leper came to Jesus and asked for, Lord, have mercy upon me. Do you know what happened? Immediately the Bible says, Jesus moved in front, touched him and cleansed him. Amen. Amen. But here he never touched them. He stood far off, but he said one thing that they need to go and show themselves to the priest. Friends, our God is a God of variety. Amen. Can you shout amen? amen? He does in a various ways, he heals people. He speaks word, he, he heals them. He, he touches them, he heals them. He does in a various way. Don't ever fix yourself. This is how God has to do. That's what happened to Naaman. Naaman said, I thought Elisha will come down and call upon the name of the Lord. But Elisha said, go wash yourself seven times in the pool. Amen. And Naaman said, oh, this is not good. The rivers are better. But let me tell you, whatever Jesus says, obey it. Amen. Shout it loudly. Amen. Amen. Now, these lepers, do you know what happened? Immediately took God's word as a promise. Amen. And immediately the Bible says they began to move. Amen. And as they were going, verse 14, as and it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As they were going, do you know what happened? They were cleansed. So today, there is healing in obedience. Amen. When God says anything, whatever he says, just do it. Amen. Only one person who understood very nicely was the mother of Jesus. When the wine was over, do you know what? She came and told the servants, whatever he says, 
do it. Amen. Whatever he says, do it. Yes. And what he told was completely, do you know what? It doesn't get into our mind. He said, fill the empty jars with water. And according to that, the servants obeyed. Now we see here, according to God's word, these lepers, do you know what? Obeyed God. Amen. As they were going, somebody say, as they were going. As they were going. Do you know what happened? Their condition changed. Amen. Miracle began to happen. So when can you expect miracle? At the word of obedience. Amen. Obedience to his word brings Miracle. Amen. Amen. If you are lingering long time with sickness, weakness, some disease in your body, I encourage to you, do you know what? Listen and obey to God's word. Amen. These people, they were having leprosy for a long time. But when they listened to God's word, the Bible says they were cleansed. Amen. 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 Do you know what happens? We don't want to take his word. We don't want to take his word seriously. We, we put some conditions to his word. Lord, if this leper, lepers would have said, first, first let, let's get one finger properly and then we will go. No, they have to step out in faith. Just faith on God's word. They took God's word and walked in faith. As they walked in faith, do you know what happened? They were on the way. They were cleansed. Today, I want to tell you, Christians or anybody who are watching me on live, let me tell you one thing. Don't put conditions to God. Amen. Can you shout amen? amen? Never, never do this one. I will do. Don't ever put condition. Many people say, Lord, give me a, an hike in my salary. Then I will do this one. Give me promotion. Give me a new job. Give me a visa to go abroad. Then I will do. This is what many people put condition to God. But never ever put condition to the almighty God. Amen. Whatever he says, just do it. Amen. As these people were walking and going. Do you know what happened? Suddenly, the leprosy disappeared. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Leprosy disappeared. Amen. What happened is, the, the fingers, which they didn't have fingers, and suddenly, the fingers began to grow, and it became all right. The toes, which they did not have, pop up, popped out, new toes, Nails which were not there, suddenly nails began to come out. Amen. Friends, when you obey God, and God will bring healing in your life. Amen. Amen. Now what happens? Let's go further. Now these guys are very excited. Do you know why? It completely changed their physical body. Amen. Excited. Do you know why? Mainly because some of the things, some guys didn't have nose. The nose began to grow. Some off lips, which were being eaten by leprosy, do you know what happened? Began to, like a plastic surgery. Everything happened instantaneous by the, by the power of God. Amen. Amen. Now, all the physical body is fit. So long they were just dragging themselves while they were walking. But now they started to run. Amen. They got so much excited, they are running. Running. Why they are running? Because the bodies are healed. Amen. Amen. Not only that, they are running because they want to show themselves to the priest that they are healed of leprosy. Amen. Amen. You can shout amen. 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 Now, so many years, so many months, so many days, uh, I don't know how long 
these guys were isolated these guys were quarantined it's not because of corona these guys were isolated because the law of the land was they should not come and mingle with the people amen now listen to this one these guys were healed they wanted as far as possible as quick as possible they want to show themselves to the priest not only to the priest they want to get certified amen, amen. today if you want to travel in a aeroplane if you want to fly especially abroad you need to have a quarantine certify that you don't have you don't have corona your certificate must show that you don't have corona then only you are allowed to board the flight now these guys ran so fast because they don't want any more time to waste but they wanted the certificate from the high priest not only that they ran so that they will build their future somebody shout amen. amen not only they ran faster just for building future they want to be recognized by the people because they have lost recognition for a long time and the third thing they ran so fast they wanted to move forward in their life so many years what is happening they have lost lot of things now they want to move forward in their life not only that they ran they wanted to mingle with others they wanted to be one among others they wanted to touch they wanted to touch the touch their wives they wanted to touch the the children the grandchildren they wanted to kiss them that's the reason they are running but they ran completely healed amen. can you say hey man now come to verse 15 i'm talking on the subject of the missing link between healing and wholeness the missing link between divine healing and wholeness now verse 15 and one of them when he saw that he was healed turned back and with a loud voice glorified god Amen. hallelujah 10 were going as a group suddenly 10 were healed nine ran one direction one um, among the 10 one ran in the opposite direction Amen. now they are running nine runs together but one do you know what is happening is running in a wrong direction probably the nine would have discussed hey this guy is running something has happened to him probably i think they would have spoken he is not one of, one of us man once he is healed do you know what he wants to go back because the one who ran the opposite direction is a samaritan Amen. all the other nine were jews the nine ran this side and one samaritan ran the other side somebody would have said there see as long as he had leprosy he was with us the moment he was healed see he shows the real figure see the race difference see we are jews we are together man but see this samaritan probably is running back to samaria running back to samaria but let's not bother about him first we will show ourselves to the priest and get recognized let people recognize us let's start afresh now this guy ran in a opposite direction where did he run this is important 
I want you to ponder upon this verse. There is a potential lessons that we can learn from this man. Amen. Can you shout amen? amen. Um, this one leper who ran in the opposite direction. Let's read it one more time. Verse 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his feet at his feet fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan Amen, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah this guy do you know what he did he returned back and praised God and glorified God Amen. Amen. So the first thing that we can learn from this one leper, do you know what is that? Number one, this leper, do you know what he did? He praised the Lord. Amen. Look at your neighbor and he tell them, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He, he said, praise the Lord. He glorified God. Today, people who are healed, people who are delivered, people who have, who had, uh, who, who had uh, mm, something received from God? Do you know what they need to do? They need to praise God. Amen. 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 See, many people are ashamed to praise God. But this guy did, was not ashamed, but he said he glorified God. Amen. 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 Many Christians, do you know what they do? Some people I've seen, they say, good morning. When you say to a secular people, I agree with that. When you're talking with a Christian, and when a Christian says, praise the Lord, saying good morning, I think it's not a good word. Rather, we can say, praise the Lord. Why? God created man so that he will praise him. Amen. Bible says in Hebrews, offer sacrifice of praise continually unto God. Amen. Amen. So praise must be the part of our life. Amen. I have seen some people, Namaskara. Namaskara. Namaskara, brother. Sister, Namaskara. I tell you, people don't understand what Namaskar means. Namaskar means, it comes from a Sanskrit word. It is paying obstinance. Paying obstinance to another person. When you say praise God, it praise is not to that person, but praise goes to God. Yeah. When you say Namaskar, you are saying with the Indian culture. We bow down that also. Bow down very low. Showing our finger pointing to the soul in front of you. I am I am paying tribute to you. I respect your soul as you have a soul. I also have a soul. But we are created not to praise man. We are created to praise God. Amen. In the beginning few years back uh, few decades back while I was in Nepal I went there first time when people came to pick me up from the railway station do you know what happened they said Jai Masi. I said what is this Jai Masi? it looks something new because I've never heard that word Jai Masi. so I asked them what Jai Masi means and they said it's like praise the Lord Jai Masi means Messiah is victorious. Jai Masi means Messiah is victorious. Amen. You can shout Jai Masi. Hallelujah. In another word, these Christians who live in Nepal and northern India, do you know what northern east, eastern part of India, especially, do you know what they do? They say Jai Masi. 
Chai Masi is uh, it is uh, means Messiah is victorious. Amen. Amen. Friends, let me tell you what we can learn from this leper is we can praise God. Amen. 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 God should be glorified. Amen. There are two times glorifying God. The word glorifying God is used in verse 15 and verse 18. And let me tell you, glorifying God is extolling God. Amen. Glorifying God is exalting God. Amen. Glorifying God is glorifying his works. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. His actions, amen. his attributes. Amen. amen. So this leper, the first thing that we can learn is event and glorified God. Amen. amen. Number two, do you know what this man did? Verse 16 says, verse 15 says, and one of them, when he saw he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Amen. The second thing is, do you know what he did? He praised God with a loud voice. Amen. 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 And the Bible also says he was a Samaritan. Amen. See, this Samaritan didn't bother about his dignity, his self-esteem. He never wanted to see anything. He shouted loudly and glorified God. Amen. Amen. Many, many Christians I see. Do you know what? They are silent Christians. They praise God inside only. When pain comes, when they play games, you can see them shouting. But when praising comes, you know, they murmur. Ma, 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 ma. Friends, today I want you to learn something from this leper. This leper, do you know what he did? He praised God. Amen. Loudly. Amen. He was not looking at uh, the situation, what type of situation, where Jesus was there. He doesn't want to maintain any decor decorum. He just, what he did is, he shouted God. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. You and I are called to praise God loudly. Amen. Don't get embarrassed. Yes. Sometimes in church, when you go, the silent church, when you go to a silent church, suddenly some people who are used, praise the Lord, they will say, Hallelujah, pastor preaching me. All will turn back, see. All will turn as if you are a sinner. Friends, the nine lepers were Jews. But these guys ran for their welfare. They wanted to do something for their life. They wanted healing from Jesus, but they don't want to go further. They said, it's enough for us, we can survive. There are many Christians who are watching me online. Let me tell you, don't stop in healing. God has a greater purpose and plan to give for you. Amen. The greater thing is he wants to give you wholeness Amen. the completeness Amen. and this is what you need to receive the, the Jews the nine Jews uh, lepers received healing but they never received salvation Amen. Amen. now the second thing what they did was they he, the one guy who came back he shouted Amen. glorified God Amen. one day Jesus was passing through the Mount of Olives. As he was coming down, the disciples began joyfully praise God in loud voice. 
the Bible says in verse 37, they praised God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Amen. Amen. A man who has seen miracle cannot keep quiet. A man who experienced miracle, how can he keep quiet? Amen. 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 Now, Christians, many Christians, they call themselves Christian. These are nominal Christian like Jews. But rest of them, some of them, do you know what? They don't care. Amen. They began to praise God in loud voice. Amen. Now read the next verse. Chapter 19 of verse 38. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. They started shouting like that. Amen. When they shouted, verse, read down that verse. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, do you know what they said? Teacher, rebuke your disciples. Amen. Rebuke your disciples. I have heard some of the preachers say, don't lift your voice. Don't lift your voice. Speak inside of you. Why? They are Pharisees, I think. Pharisees, do you know what? They don't want God to be glorified loudly Amen. because they maintain certain certain standard dignity they don't want to feel embarrassed selfishness that thing they want something to be people should respect them but see what Jesus said I like that word when they said teacher rebuke your disciples verse 40 the Bible says I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they keep quiet, the stones will praise God. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, I am not here and uh, I don't want to give room for stones to praise. Amen. I don't want stones to cry unto God. Amen. God created you and me in his image so that we will offer continually the praises unto him. Amen. 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 Friends, don't withhold the praise. Amen. Don't withhold your voice. Amen. Amen. I tell my children, always make it as a point. As long as you live in this world, this throat is meant for God. Amen. Amen. I will praise him. Amen. I will praise him. Amen. Because I am created in his own image. Amen. Stones are not created in God's image. Yes. The Pharisees didn't like it. Today also, there are a lot of Pharisee leaders who say, and if they hear any sound, oh, something happening there, they are shouting, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They are shouting like that. They are doing like this. Let me tell you, don't get cheated by that word. Don't allow your throat to be reduced. You can reduce it when you go for playing. When you are in the jolly mood, when there is a cricket match going on in India, when India and Pakistan are playing, then you should watch. Every Christian or anybody, every Indian go wild. They say, come on, Dhoni, 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 Dhoni. After that, they will say, Koli, Koli. When it comes to Jesus, who gave sixer after sixer to the devil, kicked him out from heaven. Do you know what? We take. Calm as cucumber. We want to take where it is. Friends, get out of that situation. Amen. Amen. 
when Pharisees said, rebuke them, Jesus, in fact, do you know what he said? Shut your mouth. Amen. I think so. If I would have been there, I would have. Praise God, I'm not Jesus. But he said, very decently, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. So, one thing you need to understand. First thing, this man returned and glorified. Praise God. Amen. The second thing, this leper, the Samaritan leper, came to Jesus with a loud voice glorified. Amen. Amen. My sister, a couple of months back, she wrote one Tamil song. She said, people who go to the pit, people who die, don't praise God. People, whereas I am created and I am alive to praise God. Amen. Amen. And I believe this is found in Psalms 115 verse 17. It says like this, it is not the dead who praise the Lord. Those who go down to silence. Are you dead? No, no. Then why you shut your mouth? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are dead, you can't praise God. Amen. Are you living? Amen. Are you alive? Amen. People who are watching, are you alive? Amen. Is there breath in you? Is your heart is beating? Amen. Still your liver is uh, working? Your kidney is working? Your brain is working? Do you know what? Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. Because God's word in Psalm says, dead will not praise God. Amen. Till... The time that we live in this world. Do you know what we can do is we can praise God. Amen. The third thing this leper did. Do you know what he did? The Bible says he fell down on his face at his feet. Amen. Amen. I like that. Samaritan. The Jews ran away. They wanted to start fresh. But this guy. Do you know what he did? He fell at the feet of Jesus Amen. with face down. Actually, the word is he worshipped God. Amen. The Greek word, if I use it there, proskinio. Proskinio means to be prostrated. Kinio means to kiss. Amen. And this leper, one time, when the ten were there, they cried for mercy. Lord, Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. And standing far away. But now, after healing, he doesn't want to stand far away. He comes so close and falls at the feet of Jesus. And he prostrated at his feet. Amen. Somebody shout amen. 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 Want to tell you one thing. The best place for a Christian is to be at the feet. Amen. If you want to learn anything, go to his feet. Amen. Amen. If you want to do something, first go to his feet. Amen. Anything you do, the best place to camp in is at his feet. Amen. People like to go out for camp. And once we go out, do you know what? We choose where we want to erect our tent. But in a Christian life, the best place to erect your tent is at his feet. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now, I want you to see Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 17. Verse 17. Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Amen. 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 After this one leper came, shouted, glorified, fell at the feet of Jesus. Jesus is asking a question 
to that Samaritan leper. He is asking, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? In the beginning, do you know what he said? He looked at the ten and he said to them, go, show yourself to the priest. Amen. Amen, period. He never said, come back, give thanks to me, come back, do this one. He never said. But one thing he said is, go, show yourself. All went and everybody was healed. One returned back and that moment Jesus is saying, where not ten who were cleansed? Where are there nine? In another word, I want you to understand the expectation of Jesus. What he expects, anything blessing you receive, you must glorify God. Amen. 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 People receive blessing. People receive healing. People receive deliverance. People receive everything from God. Anything good if you have today, it is. It has come from God. Amen. Nothing is our effort. Yes. Nothing is because of your exercise. Amen. Some people work out in gym. They think that they are strong, healthy because they work out. No, the health comes from God. Amen. Amen. Now, only one guy, do you know what, came to show the gratitude. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Friends, the missing link to the wholeness. Divine healing is good. Amen. Don't stop there. Amen. Move further. Amen. Why? Because after healing one type of sickness, there can come another sickness. Yes. Another sickness. Yes. Another sickness. All through the life. Do you know what? Because of the climatic condition or anything, anything can come to our body. So we don't stop in healing, but we go still further. Amen. This guy, one guy went further. He is not satisfied with healing, Amen. but his heart was full of gratitude. Amen. Lord, I want to thank you. Amen. I don't want to see my wife. I don't want to see my children. I don't want to show myself to the priest. I will put a hold for those things. I can give second preference. I want to meet the one who spoke to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, this is the art of gratitude. Amen. Many people after receiving, 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 receiving from God, their heart is not art of thanksgiving Amen. in my life. One thing I have set my mind, anything, for everything, I will give thanks. Amen. Because I was nobody. Amen. I was nobody. But the Lord entered into my life. He made me somebody. Amen. And how dare, how can I keep my mouth shut? Amen. If I keep my mouth shut, uh, do you know what will happen? Samaritans will worship God. He created me. He formed me. He gave salvation to me. He, he transformed me. He changed everything of me. Amen. Amen. And God demands gratitude. Amen. Look at your neighbor and talk to them and tell them. Tell them seriously. Don't just think everything. You must get it. Don't think. One day, one guy was, went into the forest. When he went into the forest, he lost the root. When he lost the root, he began to, he don't know what to do. He went here and there, whatever thing he can try, he tried. Finally, he prayed. He prayed. 
And this guy comes out of the forest and one man asked him, what, what did you do? What happened to you? Hey, I got lost, man. I got lost in the woods. I don't know what to do. And finally, what did I do? I prayed. And the man questioned him, did God hear your prayer? Did God hear your prayer? Hey, no man, before he could hear, he, one man came and helped me out to come out of the forest. This fellow does not understand the greatness of God. God is the one who sent that fellow. He is thinking that that man came because of that man, I came out of the forest. Friends, this is how a lot of Christians live. If you are blessed with a life, if you see sunlight in the morning, if you can see, if your eyes can see the nature, I tell you, we need to thank God. Amen. We need to thank God. Amen. Because nothing works just like that. Everything works by the mercy of God. Amen. These guys asked, Lord, Master, Jesus, have mercy upon us. Amen. Amen. We sang that song in Kana service, that English song. What is that? Mercy. 184, I think, the song that we sang. Something about mercy you were singing. I said, wow. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. And I will sing again of the mercies of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, if you are alive, if we are alive, if we are having family, if there is a spouse for you, if there is a shelter above your head, it's the mercy of God. Amen. 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 Jesus demands that we go and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Don't be hard-hearted. He has to do. Let him do. That, that is a servant spirit. But son spirit is giving thanks unto God. Amen. Amen. Before I finish, I want to tell you one more thing. Now, in verse 19, he says something. I want you to open Luke's Gospel, chapter 17. And we will read... Verse 19. And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Amen. Amen. I will read to you in King James Version because I read in few versions. I'm happy in this version. In King James Version. It says in verse 19, and he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say whole. It's not a whole, but whole. Complete. Amen. 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 Here, do you know what? In verse 15, there is a word called, When he saw, he was healed. Just mark a line, yield. Verse 17, And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Mark a circle. Ten cleansed. And in verse 19, He says, Thy faith had made thee whole. Amen. Amen. So I began to see these three words. Three different Greek words. Because in some version, it stays only healing, healing, cleansing, cleansing. Okay? But the word which is, e, which is used for yield in verse 15 is ayata. H-I-A-T-H-A. Ayata. Which means to mend, to repair, in another word, this is a medical 
term, medical word. Amen. In verse 17, there is a word called cleansed. Jesus used this word. Where there are not ten cleansed, the Greek word katri, katri diso, katri diso, which means remove impurities. This word katri diso is also a medical word. Now comes the another word. Jesus said, Thy faith had made thee whole. Amen. Amen. The word whole, the Greek word, is not a medical word. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a spiritual word. The word used there is sozo. Sozo. The word, same word, sozo, is used when Jesus was about to be born. Angel came and visited Joseph and he said, Don't dare to reject Mary as your wife. Take, take Mary as your wife and you shall name the child Jesus. For he will save the people from sin. The same sozo is used there. He will save people from their sin. Amen. 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 In another word, sozo means salvation. Amen. Somebody say sozo. So -so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only that, if you read in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, anybody confesses my name, believe in the heart, they shall be saved. The same Greek word used there is sozo. -so. So, -so. so why am I making this different? The 10 people out of 10, 9 got yield. They got aita. They were, their impurities, their sickness were removed. Amen. Amen. But one not only got healed, but he also got saved. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Many, many people stop in healing. Thank you, brother, for healing. Thank you, pastor, for praying for me. Don't stop there. I want you to move further. Amen. God has not stopped there. He expected the ten to come back. Ten to come back and give him the glory so that all the ten will not be cleansed only in leprosy but also they will receive eternal salvation. Amen. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. Friends, this morning, if you are healed or delivered, if God has done something, don't stop there. Amen. The missing link to wholeness. The missing link between healing and wholeness is being full of gratitude. Amen. It's a time that we go to God. Amen. Again and again. Amen. Again and again. All the time, do you know what we need to do? Go to God. Amen. Every time we go to God, do you know what happens? We receive fullness. Amen. Amen. Now, before I finish, nine ran for their life, for their betterment. This one guy, do you know what? He put a hold of meeting his wife, children, community, everything. Even though he also went through same emotional problem. He also was isolated. He was also quarantined. But this fellow wanted to recognize and he wanted to touch the merciful God. Amen. Amen. He wanted not to see the priest, but he wanted to see the chief priest. Amen. He doesn't want to start something new in his life. 
but he wanted to start with the starter of our life. Amen. The alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end. He doesn't want it to mingle with people. Recognize the, those nine wanted to be recognized, but this one wanted to recognize the Savior. Amen. Friends, the missing link between healing and wholeness is being full of gratitude. Yeah. Be a person full of praise. Yes. Glorify God. Yeah. Throw all your traditions away. Yeah. Throw all your rituals away. Yeah. There are certain customs have come into the church and this is what people are very faithfully following. Throw the customs out begin to worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. Everyone who are watching this program, may the Lord touch you. May God speak to you that you will get out of your tradition. Whatever tradition you are holding on, throw that tradition. It is the tradition that keeps you away from God. But this man, the leper, threw everything, his dignity, self-esteem, anything that he had, but one thing he wanted, I want to see my savior. He wanted to meet the one who said, go and show yourself. Friends, he is the guy who saw, experienced salvation. Amen. Shall we rise? This morning, don't come for healing. I have been to meetings, big, big meeting, crusades. When I give an altar call for healing and deliverance. Hundreds and hundreds of people walk down to the altar. Hundreds of people walk down. One day I was in a state of Telangana in India. I gave a altar call to people. There were thousands and thousands of people. I said, anybody interested in serving the Lord, come forward. There were only two people came forward. My heart broke. Do you know why? For healing and deliverance, hundreds come to serve the Lord, to give thanks unto Him, to worship Him. People take the back step. They follow the crowd, the crowd of nine Jewish lepers. Friends, you may be a Christian, born in a Christian family. That does not make you a Christian. All you need to do is respond to God, fall at his feet. Many people boast about where they were born. They say, my dad is a pastor. My dad is a bishop. Oh, it can be many things. But let me tell you, don't be like a Jew who tasted the healing power of God and went on the way. Be like a Samaritan coming back to God and glorifying God. Let's bow down before God. Let's surrender. Let's choose what that one leper, the Samaritan leper did. Let's do that one. He returned back. He returned back. He praised God. Every time of our life, we will say praise the Lord. When we meet people, we will say, praise the Lord. Let's throw away that good morning. Whenever you meet a fellow brother and fellow sister, do you know what? Bring praises to God. Say, Jay Masi, it's nothing wrong in that. This man, Lifted his voice. Don't worship. Don't praise him. In silence. Jesus said. If you keep silent. The stones. Will begin to cry. Silent Christian. This is a warning from God. Open your mouth before your mouth becomes dumb. Worship him. Give him the glory. 
don't see your dignity. I was praying last week for a Muslim lady who asked for prayer. She called me and she said, I wanted prayer because I heard that you prayed for one of my colleagues. Please pray for me. And she said, I'm a Muslim. And I told her like this, whether you are a Muslim or any Christian, it doesn't matter for Jesus. I am not the healer, but Jesus is the healer. Jesus will heal you. More than anything, begin to seek his face. He is the savior of the world. If you call him, he will answer you. If you cry unto him, he will listen to your cry. Friends, whoever you may be, whatever religion you may be, it doesn't matter. This Jesus is the savior of the world. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Not only he is a healer, but he is also a savior. This one leper who came back to Jesus experienced not only a divine healing, a divine visitation, but he also received salvation, which is more important for eternity. Ten people prayed. One praised God. Today we will join with this one guy and we will also praise him loudly. This guy, one leper, Samaritan leper, fell at the feet of Jesus. We also will fall at his feet. Fall at his feet. Completely prostrated. Saying, I have nothing. I can do nothing without you. Let his mercy come upon us. Father, I pray for everyone who are watching this program. Lord, you are a healer, but you want to restore even our soul. You want to give salvation. That's the reason you were born in this world. And that's why you carry that name, Jesus. Father, I pray for everyone who have tasted your love, who have tasted your power, who have tasted healing in their life, the deliverance in their life. But like the nine, they forgot to be full of gratitude. They forgot to give thanks. They forgot to express. Father, I pray that today arts will be turned, Lord. Arts will be turned. They will return back. They will return back. They will not run back to their family and enjoy their relation, but they will run back to you, Daddy. And they will start afresh in their life. How oh, this one guy received wholeness. So, so in his life, I pray that everyone will come back to you and receive. We want to thank you and we want to bless you. Father, I pray even today you are a healer. I pray for every sick body, every person who is sick in their body. I pray your nail pierced stand will penetrate. You're a God of near and far, Daddy. For you, distant doesn't matter. You're a God of variety, Daddy. Right now, Lord, I pray that your nail pierced stand will touch, remove cancer, hernia, kidney stone, gallbladder stone, arthritis, BP, in the name of Jesus. Rheumatism come out in the name of Jesus. Every heart pain, heart disease, 
transplantation in Jesus' name. I speak your healing power. Healing power, Daddy. Father, people who are, cannot breathe properly, I pray for them in the name of Jesus. You're a miracle worker. Let that lungs function normally in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I stop every, every work of darkness and be your name be glorified, Daddy. And not only they will receive your healing, but they will in turn return to you and give thanks unto you, Daddy. We want to give glory, honor, and power and praise unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit may rest upon each and every one and everybody set together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Ford from Bangalore, India.